The Great Recession of 2008 was a global economic crisis that shook the world. It was the worst financial crisis since the Great Depression of the 1930s. The recession caused widespread unemployment, bankruptcies and foreclosures, and it took years for the global economy to recover. But what lessons did we learn from this crisis? In this video, we will explore the key lessons that we can take away from the Great Recession. One of the key lessons from the Great Recession is the importance of regulation. The financial crisis was caused, in part, by the lack of regulation in the financial sector. Banks and other financial institutions were allowed to take on too much risk, and they engaged in risky practices such as subprime lending and mortgage-backed securities. When the housing market collapsed, these practices led to widespread defaults and foreclosures, which in turn caused the financial crisis. The lesson we learned from this is that regulation is essential to prevent such crises from happening again. Governments and regulators need to ensure that financial institutions are operating in a safe and sound manner and that they are not taking on excessive risk. This means that there needs to be more oversight and transparency in the financial sector and that regulators need to have the power to intervene when necessary. Another lesson from the Great Recession is the importance of fiscal responsibility. The recession was caused, in part, by excessive government spending and borrowing. Many governments around the world had been running large budget deficits for years and this made them vulnerable to the economic downturn. When the recession hit, these governments were unable to stimulate their economies because they had already borrowed too much money. The lesson we learned from this is that governments need to be fiscally responsible and ensure that they are not living beyond their means. This means that they need to balance their budgets and avoid excessive borrowing. It also means that they need to have a plan in place to deal with economic downturns, such as a rainy day fund or other measures to stimulate the economy. A third lesson from the Great Recession is the importance of diversification. Many individuals and businesses were heavily invested in the housing market and when the market collapsed, they suffered significant losses. This highlights the importance of diversifying one's investments and not putting all of one's eggs in one basket. The lesson we learned from this is that diversification is essential to reduce risk and protect against economic downturns. This means that individuals and businesses need to spread their investments across different asset classes, such as stocks, bonds and real estate. It also means that businesses need to diversify their customer base and not rely too heavily on one particular market or product. A final lesson from the Great Recession is the importance of preparedness. Many individuals and businesses were caught off guard by the severity of the recession and they were not prepared to deal with the consequences. This highlights the importance of being prepared for economic downturns and having a plan in place to deal with them. The lesson we learned from this is that preparedness is essential to weather economic storms. This means that individuals and businesses need to have a plan in place to deal with economic downturns, such as an emergency fund or a contingency plan. It also means that governments need to have a plan in place to stimulate the economy and protect vulnerable populations during times of crisis. One of the key lessons from the Great Recession is the importance of regulation. The financial crisis was caused, in part, by the lack of regulation in the financial sector. Banks and other financial institutions were allowed to take on too much risk and they engaged in risky practices such as subprime lending and mortgage-backed securities. When the housing market collapsed, these practices led to widespread defaults and foreclosures, which in turn caused a financial crisis. The lesson we learned from this is that regulation is essential to prevent such crises from happening again. Governments and regulators need to ensure that financial institutions are operating in a safe and sound manner and that they are not taking on excessive risk. This means that there needs to be more oversight and transparency in the financial sector and that regulators need to have the power to intervene when necessary. One example of this is the Dodd-Frank Wall Street Reform and Consumer Protection Act, which was passed in the United States in response to the financial crisis. This law introduced a number of measures to increase regulation and oversight of the financial sector, including the creation of the Consumer Financial Protection Bureau and the Volcker Rule, which restricts banks from engaging in certain types of risky trading. While some argue that excessive regulation can stifle innovation and growth, the lessons of the Great Recession showed that regulation is necessary to ensure a stable and healthy financial system. By implementing effective regulation, we can prevent another financial crisis and protect consumers and businesses from the devastating effects of economic downturns. Another lesson from the Great Recession is the importance of fiscal responsibility. The recession was caused, in part, by excessive government spending and borrowing. Many governments around the world had been running large budget deficits for years and this made them vulnerable to the economic downturn. When the recession hit, these governments were unable to stimulate their economies because they had already borrowed too much money. The lesson we learned from this is that governments need to be fiscally responsible and ensure that they are not living beyond their means. This means that they need to balance their budgets and avoid excessive borrowing. 
It also means that they need to have a plan in place to deal with economic downturns, such as a rainy day fund or other measures to stimulate the economy. One example of this is the European Union's Stability and Growth Pact, which was designed to ensure that member states maintain sound fiscal policies. The pact requires member states to keep their budget deficits below 3% of GDP and their debt levels below 60% of GDP. While the pact has faced criticism for being too rigid, it has helped to promote fiscal responsibility and prevent excessive borrowing. This goal responsibility is not just important for governments, but also for individuals and businesses. By living within our means and avoiding excessive debt, we can protect ourselves from the negative effects of economic downturns. This means saving for emergencies, avoiding high interest debt, and investing wisely. By practicing fiscal responsibility, we can ensure that we are prepared for economic downturns and that we are able to weather the storm when they occur. A third lesson from the Great Recession is the importance of diversification. Many individuals and businesses were heavily invested in the housing market, and when the market collapsed, they suffered significant losses. This highlights the importance of diversifying one's investments and not putting all of one's eggs in one basket. The lesson we learned from this is that diversification is essential to reduce risk and protect against economic downturns. This means that individuals and businesses need to spread their investments across different asset classes, such as stocks, bonds, and real estate. It also means that businesses need to diversify their customer base and not rely too heavily on one particular market or product. One example of this is the investment strategy known as asset allocation, which involves spreading investments across different asset classes based on an individual's risk tolerance and investment goals. By diversifying one's investments, individuals can reduce their overall risk and protect themselves from market downturns. Diversification is also important for businesses, particularly those in industries that are vulnerable to economic downturns. By diversifying their customer base and product offerings, businesses can reduce their reliance on any one market or product and protect themselves from the negative effects of economic downturns. By practicing diversification, individuals and businesses can protect themselves from the negative effects of economic downturns and ensure that they are prepared for whatever the future may hold. A final lesson from the Great Recession is the importance of preparedness. Many individuals and businesses were caught off guard by the severity of the recession, and they were not prepared to deal with the consequences. This highlights the importance of being prepared for economic downturns and having a plan in place to deal with them. The lesson we learned from this is that preparedness is essential to weather economic storms. This means that individuals and businesses need to have a plan in place to deal with economic downturns, such as an emergency fund or a contingency plan. It also means that governments need to have a plan in place to stimulate the economy and protect vulnerable populations during times of crisis. One example of this is the United States Troubled Asset Relief Program TARP, which was implemented in response to the financial crisis. The program provided financial assistance to banks and other financial institutions to prevent them from collapsing and causing further damage to the economy. Preparedness is not just important for governments and large institutions, but also for individuals and small businesses. By having an emergency fund and a plan in place to deal with the economic downturns, individuals and small businesses can protect themselves from the negative effects of a recession. By being prepared, we can ensure that we are able to weather economic storms and emerge stronger on the other side. Whether it's through saving for emergencies, diversifying our investments, or practicing fiscal responsibility, we can all take steps to prepare ourselves for whatever the future may hold.